Welcome to Digital Journal TV, I'm Dave Silverberg. Talking on your cell phone while driving has been a real hot button issue in the US recently. As of July 1st, both California and Washington have banned cell phone use while driving, allowing only hands-free devices like these. And if you're under 18, forget about it, you can't use a cell phone at all while in your car. In this episode, we look at the implications of these new laws and the technology available for all you mobile addicts out there. Stay tuned. Would you compare cell phoning and driving to drinking and driving? Several studies have done just that. A 2006 study found nearly 80% of crashes and 65% of near crashes involved a form of driver distraction within three seconds before the crash. Cell phones are their most likely culprit, researchers said. In a related study, a University of Utah researcher tested the road skills of drivers using cell phones and other drivers who shot back a few glasses of vodka and orange juice. Drivers on cells drove as poorly as the buzz participants with high blood alcohol levels. This kind of information has encouraged California and Washington to pass a law banning cell phones in cars. In California, the fine for the first infraction is $76, and for the second, it's $190, including court fees. The cost increases for every infraction. The thing is, the new law isn't exactly throwing the cell out of the car. Drivers in these states can still use hands-free gadgets like Bluetooth devices connected to cell phones. The Avaya 1X speech system is an example of technology for these drivers, allowing drivers to make phone calls, check voicemail, and even read email while driving. Read my email from Troy Schneibel. Troy Schneibel, from your personal contacts. Your first email message from this contact was received early this afternoon with the subject document for your review there is one attachment california and washington are joining three other states in banning cell phones while driving now companies are also on board in getting handsets off the road a lot of people spend over an hour and a half in their car every day and so they want it to fit in they want to get at their information and their content and and have those capabilities Microsoft offers its Sync system to people who want voice-activated, hands-free technology in their car. Cell phone and MP3 players can be integrated into Sync. You can search and listen to songs just by telling the system what to do. If you're calling a friend, just say, call Jane, and Sync does the rest. Sync is available free in Ford and Mercury vehicles, but costs $400 as an add-on in other cars. If I'd like to play one track out of the 10,000 that I have on my music player, I can ask Sync to do it by voice. Main menu. User device. USB. Please say a command. Play track Big Jazz. Playing track Big Jazz. <laughs> Technology is great, but there's still a big debate going on on whether using these kind of hands-free devices is still safe for drivers. Carnegie Mellon University scientists found that simply listening to a phone conversation causes drivers to commit errors that occur under the influence of alcohol. Just hearing a cell phone conversation, even through a headset, reduces the amount of brain activity associated with driving by 37%. It remains to be seen whether hands-free mobile calling will solve traffic woes, but rest assured, the world will be watching what California and Washington are doing. So should hands-free mobile calling really be a viable option, or should cell phone and driving be banned totally? Join the debate at digitaljournal.com and find out what other people are saying. That's it for this episode of Digital Journal TV. I'm David Silverberg. See you next time.